Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do my favorites. This is not going to necessarily be just like a monthly favorites because I haven't done one of these in a couple months. So I just wanted to share with you what I have been really liking lately. I have a lot of makeup to talk about, some TV shows that Anna and I have been watching, and one body product, one hair product, one skincare product, and a couple food items too. So a little bit of everything. I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's jump right in. Starting with skincare, this company is called Just What in the World? I just got super confused because I thought the company was Just Natural. It says distributed by Just Natural, but on here it says Just nut Nutritive. That is so bizarre. It's the same, it's the same thing. Anyways, I will link it for you down below. I get this off of Amazon. It's the antibacterial clear body treatment. I'm pretty sure just looking at the ingredients that this is the same thing that I was always getting. But anyways, this is amazing for pimples. So if ever I'm having a bad skin day, when I go to bed, I don't use this during the day, unless I have no makeup on and I really wanna treat a pimple. But what I do usually is at night after I wash my face, I will use this as a spot treatment and just put it on pimples. Or if I need a lot of help, I will put it over my entire skin and just use it like I would a serum. And then sometimes I'll just leave it like that or sometimes I will put a moisturizer on top to add a little bit of more hydration overnight. But this is the best thing I've ever tried to help with breakouts. I find that I only pop my pimples if they are super painful and like you can tell they really need to be popped but I usually try to resist touching them and when I use this at night it seriously helps to shrink them in size help with redness I highly recommend this it'll last you a super long time it's amazing okay next I have a product from Aveda this is the smooth infusion line so it says that it loosens your curls so your hair becomes straighter with every use for me though I like this because it just helps my natural waves look better and smoother so when I use this and air dry my hair, my waves just look so much more tousled and like cohesive. And then when I curl my hair, everything looks really natural and smooth. I used this yesterday morning, let my hair air dry and then put a couple waves in it. And I feel like it just gives your hair a lot of natural volume and it, I don't know what it is about it, but it makes your, whatever your natural texture of your hair is, it kind of enhances it and just makes it a little bit better. Cause typically my hair is a little bit more frizzy when I air dry it and this keeps it nice and smooth. I wouldn't say it makes my hair straight. I think it's more the smoothing that I really like. Overall, I just think it's a really good styling product. I think it helps with the manageability of your hair and I, I really like it and I wanna start using this more often. Okay, next I have a body product. This is a body lotion. I do not know if I've ever talked about this on my channel and I don't know why because it is so good. I think I meant to one time and I forgot to take it out of the bathroom and then I haven't mentioned it since. The company is Ahava. I don't know if you guys have tried any Ahava products, but their body care is really good. So this is the Mineral Botanic Rich Body Butter and the scent is Tropical Pineapple and White Peach. And I know it's winter time and people aren't necessarily gravitating towards tropical scents, but this scent is out of this world. I've used a lot of this. It is so rich and moisturizing, but the thing I like the most about it, I mean, obviously it works really well, but the scent of this is what gets me. So if you guys used to use Victoria's Secret body sprays, I mean, I'm, I guess I still have them. I just don't buy them anymore because Victoria's Secret body products are one of the first things that I got out of my bathroom when I started switching over to more natural products. Body products were kind of the thing I started with, but I love the scents of those body sprays. I would mix them together and I remember Andrew really liked them too. And when I got this for the first time and smelled it, I was immediately taken back to when I use those because it smells like one of those really juicy fruity scents. And whenever I use this, Andrew always compliments me. He's like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. It kind of lingers throughout the day. So it's really nice because I'm getting that scent that I love, but it's paraben free. So when you're using a body lotion that's free of parabens, you're getting a lot more moisture than you would with one full of parabens because what that does in those lotions is it leaves a film on the top of your skin. So you feel like you're getting hydrated but it never really penetrates into your pores. It just kind of leaves a coating on your skin. 
So when you're using something without parabens, it's helping to really penetrate in your skin and actually heal your dry skin instead of just feeling like it is for a short term. Moving on to my brows because I've been getting so many questions about what I've been using for my brows lately. I think the reason is because my hair is darker now, so I'm doing my brows a little bit darker so they're just more noticeable. The product that I've been using to tint my eyebrows is this from Just For Men. I mentioned this on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I post a lot of videos there of the girls and just random things. So I was talking about this. My Instagram is just with Kendra. This is the Just For Men Auto Stop Comen Easy No Mix Hair Color. I got the color medium brown, which works. It's definitely not too dark at all. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a little kind of comb that you can attach to the end. But what I just do is use a Q-tip and I think it works fine. I used to tint my brows all the time in college, but it became too much maintenance, and especially now I don't have time for that. So this is such an easy thing to do. You leave it on for 10 minutes. I just use a Q-tip, put it on my brows, and the first time I did it, it kind of bled onto my skin. So now, if you guys have ever used the Alba Unpetroleum Jelly, that's kind of my dupe for Vaseline. It's a more natural alternative. I'll link that down below too, but something to kind of use as a barrier on your skin so it doesn't taint your skin. So I just put the Alba product all around my brows and then I fill it in with this, leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wash it off and it's done. It doesn't look dark at all. The thing for me is my brows are really sparse and blonde. So this, it doesn't, I still have to fill my brows in because they look still very small but I feel like when my actual brow hairs are darker, then it helps to make my brows look fuller when I fill them in. It's also nice to wake up and have a little bit of color to my brows and they're not completely blonde. And I use this probably every couple weeks or so. I feel like you can't really mess this up. It's so easy to use. And I got that at CVS. And then for my actual brows, filling them in, I've been using the same thing for months and months and months. And I've just been using eyeshadow. It's not even an eyebrow product. So I have this compact of eyeshadows from Butter London. It's the Natural Charm palette. And I, a couple of them I did switch out. I have six different shadows in here. And I used to use this one to fill my brows in when my hair was lighter. But now I just use this dark brown and it's a really rich chocolate brown. I like it because it really locks into my brows. It doesn't, it's not chalky or anything. It doesn't fall down. It just stays and it looks really, really natural. When I use this lighter shade, I would sometimes use this dark one to accentuate my brow a little bit, like the arch of my brow. The brush that I use is this one from Crown Brush. Guys, this is so old. I got this in college in 2011, I remember, because Candy Johnson was talking about it and that's when I first started watching YouTube videos and that's when I started my channel in 2011. I really need a new one of these, it's disgusting. But this is what I've been using and it works well still, so I will see if I can find that and link that for you. And then this one is from Senna Cosmetics. It's definitely a little bit more of a thinner brush. I feel like most brow brushes now are like this. So that's why I really like this one because it's thicker, so it's really quick to fill your brows in. But this is nice if you want to make them a little bit more precise in the arch, and I kind of use those together. And then I set my brows always now with this brow gel. This is called the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. I believe this is from Derm Store. I don't even know because it's so old, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's from and it's the best brow gel I've ever tried. I have one for Makeup Forever and I feel like it doesn't do anything. This one keeps my brows in place all day long. It really helps the eyeshadows stay and it doesn't get, cr I mean, if you use a ton, it will get crunchy, but you just need the little, littlest amount. And next I have a blush from Tarte. It's in the shade Glisten, which is a beautiful, shimmery, peachy coral shade. I've been using a lot of mauve and natural kind of blushes lately. And I felt like I needed something to spruce up my face a little bit. And this was exactly what I needed. It makes my face look a little bit more alive and awake. And it's just a happy blush. I think it's so pretty. And these blushes really last a long time. They're supposed to last 12 hours. Um, here's the color on my finger right there. The thing about these blushes is blushes don't swatch well. They're kind of a hard powder. So you... 
you have to apply, apply a little bit more than you think you would and it's nice because you can kind of build it up. So uh, I just think it's stunning on your cheeks. It really just warms up your face and again it's like a happy blush. I think it's just, it's really nice. It has kind of like a golden-y sheen to it but yeah very flattering. Next for eyeliner, I've been using this one for my bottom waterline a lot. This is from Mineral Fusion and it's amazing. If you guys are looking for a more natural liner, like a, a coal type liner for your waterline especially because a lot of eyeliners can irritate your eyes. This one is great though. It's just called Eye Pencil and Coal by Mineral Fusion. I think I got this on Vitacost. It's inky. It is not too creamy. Sometimes when they're really creamy, it can smudge, but this one I find stays really well. And then this is what I've been using on my upper lash line. It's a liquid liner and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir. I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but I've never shown it. So it's in this kind of slim, sleek packaging. I love the tip. It's a felt tip applicator, super thin, so you can do it really precise. There is a line and it's really easy to use. I've used so many liquid liners and this one I feel like for the price you can't beat it. It has not dried up on me and I've had it for a while and I just like to do a thin line on my upper lash line lately and I don't do, sometimes I do a wing, but I feel like I don't need to and sometimes I get super, super frustrated when I'm doing a wing that I'm spending so much time on my makeup that I don't need to be. Most days I just wear mascara. If I want a little bit more makeup though, I'll do liquid liner on the top, kind of smudge it out with some black shadow. And then if I want a little bit more, then I will do the pencil on the bottom. Moving on to a couple food items. This is a coffee that I'm obsessed with. I mentioned this in my most recent day in the life, I'm pretty sure. It's the Tolly's coffee and I have the house blend. And I first tried this when Andrew and I lived in Washington. In Seattle it was super popular and that's where it's from and they have little Tolly's coffee shops all around. Something about this coffee is so good. I drink a lot of coffee now, two to three cups. I feel like that's a lot. I don't know how much you guys drink in a day but I really look forward to my coffee and I feel like I'm pickier with my coffee. I can really taste the difference. I don't know if I like this because it's from the Pacific Northwest <laughs> and I have a little obsession with Seattle but either way, it's really good. I think it's a lot more smooth than Starbucks coffee. It's not as bitter, and I just think it's a really good coffee. I get the ground. We do have a coffee maker that does do whole beans. You can grind it, but sometimes I'm not in the mood to do all that and clean the whole thing out. I found this at Ralph's before, but this one I got off of Amazon in a two pack, so I'll leave that down below for you. And then here are two bars that I've been really liking lately. The first one I got actually at Marshall's. One time I got them on Vitacost, but I saw them at Marshall's for, you know, a little bit of a discount, so I figured I might as well get them. They're called the Gluten-Free Bar, and I've tried the oatmeal kind, which I didn't like as much, but this one's really good. This is a chocolate peanut butter. There's 12 grams of protein, 4 grams of fiber, and it's a great gluten-free bar. Great for a snack or if you're busy and you just need to grab something to go. I love those. And then these are my absolute favorite for the morning. If I don't feel like cooking anything for breakfast and I need something because I'm starving, then this is what I eat. So these are from Nature's Path. They're organic. These are the breakfast bars. And this flavor is the Chunky Choco Peanut. I also have just the regular chocolate chip. They're gluten-free. There's 11 grams of whole grains. And they're soft. They taste kind of like chewy bars, but better. I love them. If you guys like peanut butter and chocolate, you have to try these. And last, I want to talk about a few TV shows that Andrew and I are obsessed with right now. The first is Suits. Oh my gosh, if you guys watch Suits, you have to tell me down below because I feel like I'm so out of the loop. I talk to so many people who are like, oh yeah, I'm on season six, and I just never knew. We watch it on Amazon, and I love it. And Andrew and I, sometimes it's hard to find shows that we both like, and we're so caught up in it right now. We're in the middle of season two, maybe more towards the end of season two, and it's getting really, really good. So that is the thing we're watching at night. I also just discovered on Netflix The Great British Baking Show. Is that what it's called? The Great British Bake, Bake Off Baking Show? Anyways, I always call it something different, but it's so good. I think it's so cute. I love their accents, and I feel like they're all so nice to each other, and I love seeing all the things they make. I feel like there's so many desserts there that we do not have here. Sometimes I do fast forward though and just go to the end to see the judges come out, but that's really good. I'm also watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills right now and New Jersey, 
and Bachelor. I really like Ari. I liked him when he was on Emily's season and I feel like I like him a lot more now. I don't really know about the contestants yet. I do think that as the show goes on you get more invested in them but we'll see. So those are all the things that I've been really liking lately. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I will have links to everything down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram that is with Kendra and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.